Right, so Mr. Pierce and Bogey are in a tree. A hundred foot up. Oh in the damn, air. I forgot about that. Right, oh, yeah. And you guys are walking off and leaving them. Yes. Oi. Get back here. How did they end up in the tree? Oh, I remember. I don't. My magic brain's the magic seeds. Magic seeds. Oh my god, yes, magic seeds. Is it Zor? Zorn, yeah. Zorn. Zorn? No. Zora. Zora. Yeah, Zorn. Zorn's a monster. Um, <laughs> right. So, yeah. Whilst you're up there, you can... <laughs> have a look around! You have a little look around. Yeah, you can have a little look around if you want. Yeah, right then. Perception. Perception, eh? Right, okay. Oh, no, I'm not prepared. Right, perception is that plus that equals four. Four. Wow, you can see some lovely canopies, maybe a, little, a few birds flying around. Oh, um, lovely. The, yeah, the canopy of uh, the trees below, because this tree is exceptionally large compared to well, all well, the well, 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 but <laughs> dragon, what about bogey? All right, yep. Uh, I'll bear vision on you. <laughs> All right, I'll quickly look at this stat, uh, and then it's right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It is perception is wisdom ten plus zero, twelve. A twelve. Um, uh, Bogey sees a lizard type creature far off, about half a mile away. Another tree top. It looks like this thing is staring directly at you. Ooh. And he tells uh, you. Yeah, see anything around here, Bogey? All right. You see a little lizard bugger, do you? Can I, uh, what kind of, uh, I know it's hard to tell from this distance, what kind of color and shape and size does it look? So Bogey, Bogey thinks it, it's, uh, it might be a dragon. Dragon. Oh, oh no. Right. Well, I don't have too much experience with dragons, but I assume they're friendly. So I'll start like kind of waving to it. Like, mm. Get us, Dan. It's just watching you. Hmm. Right. Maybe, mate. How close are uh, the rest of the gang? How far away have they wandered? I don't know. It's like, how, how far have you guys wandered? Well, until I realised yeah, I stopped until I heard him Hey! Oi! I'd be 100 feet away from straight down. Okay. Can I... Can I... Uh, is there anything to grab in this tree, like a little acorn or something? Something I can, like, kind of throw at them? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's, um... Yeah, there's some acorns. All right, I'm going to see if I can just, yeah, throw them into the herd and see if I can hit one of them, get their attention. Yeah. Um, well, they came, they, they sort of realised that you, you weren't there and they've come back and they see this acorn come down and just lands by their feet. As much as I want to go, oi, and throw something back at one. Oi! How are they going to get down? Are their branches like a... They can get down. I climb down. Yeah, it, it's not just a tree trunk and then branches at the top. It's there's branches like on the way down, but it, they sort of they start about halfway up, right? But there are branches that go about fifty feet down. Oi! <laughs> Never mind that. Look over there. It's a dragon. I'm gonna go the, the fact that we can't see it because we're under the trees. Mm. Yeah. You're fucking blind. Look, it's <laughs> over there. There's trees. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, right. Well, fuck them. I guess we'll get down then. Not listening to us. All right. Come on, Bogey. Let's get down. Okay. You start to descend amongst the branches and you get to the 50 foot point where they get really flimsy and thin and you're, you're a bit like, ooh. How round is the trunk? Round, it's, if I can remember rightly, 
it was 10 feet in diameter. It's a yep. huge tree. Yeah, I've not got anything to offer to get you down, unfortunately. Um, hmm. Make like a little net with your arms. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking to see where I'm, like, like rope. You hear a distant roar. Oh my god! It's coming. It's going to eat them. Oh yeah, that's the thing I told you about. And I don't have rope. <laughs> you don't. Oh, well, I, I I got an entertainer's kit, didn't I? Oh yeah, yeah. Right, can we try and um uh, yeah it's a big old tree though, isn't it? Do you have rope? Did you give this character a uh a, a Dungeoneers pack? You know, did what? they get did they get an adventurous pack with torches? No. I got rope. Yeah. I no, over uh, here. <laughs> no, no. I think Mr. Pierce probably does, but Bogey won't. Bogey just had his weapons and that. He's just oh, don't like they don't just trying to they got rope. They could tie the rope off and climb down. Inventory. You know, safer, isn't it? Uh bedroll, mess kit, rations, rope. Hey, 50 feet. How convenient. Right. Cool. So uh I'm not much of a knot maker. If one of so, you cases is carrying some rope, tie it around one of the branches and climb down. Did you hear that roar? <laughs> All right, okay. Um Right. I don't know physics very well, but I assume if we just tie it around one of these branches and come down, it'll be fine. So I'll try and find the uh, thickest branch there is, tie it right to the base of it, where it meets the big old uh, trunk, and then see if we can repel down. Okay. Okay, yeah, there is, <clears throat> there is branches, there are branches, and you manage to wrap the, the rope around it, and yeah, you drop the rope and you've got you've got a good rope to get down but as you drop the rope you hear uh, or you feel the tree shake as if something's landed on on the top <laughs> cool right me first then do we see the, <laughs> do we see whoever landed on the do tree any the, do any of the ones down the bottom uh, see what's going on just despot with his passive perception of 16 um he sees a shadow and then a shake in the tree and lots of leaves coming down, twigs. I mean, whatever Pierce, Mr. Pierce found, it's funny on top. Well, the trees are shaking and the leaves are weak. <laughs> cool. I'll start sliding down. Okay. Uh, give me an athletics roll. Okay. Athletics is. Five, eight. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, you just—I don't know. You have like a—you have a, a t like a, a uh, your hand seizes for a moment, and you, as you try to shake it out, you start to like swing round, and um, you just lose grip altogether and start to fall from about okay. thirty um, foot. Okay. I'm going to go, ra not race, but am I able to create water to so much pressure that it eases him falling? Yeah. For both him and Bogey. What are you casting? Um, create water, so... Five foot. I will fi fire like, 10 gallons of water, like a, like a pressure... Okay then, yeah. Just to go ease him down. Okay, cool. Um, so <clears throat> the gallop, the water, the water fires up at you, starts to take the weight of your body and slows you down, and you manage to get him down with no harm done whatsoever. But Bogey's still up there, and he's like shaking around in this tree. Um, this thing, Despot notices that it flies off from the top. Okay, it's got wings. Hey, I told you it was a blind dragon. 
You didn't oh, I it. didn't know that. I couldn't see it. Oh, I shouted it to you. Right, never mind. Right, bogey, mate. Come down. It's all good. Calm down, brother. But bogey uh, starts to go down, and uh, he needs to roll a athletics as well. Ooh, 21. 21. Bogey's fine. This is how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. And he abseils all the way down and <laughs> gets, gets to the ground. But in the trees beyond your vision on the ground, you all feel the ground shake as if something has landed. A wave, like the opposite way from uh, the village. So I landed on the ground. I guess it's even a wyvern of Mr. Mr. Pierce's pet. Oh, man. That's my presumption. I forgot about that wyvern. <laughs> oh, crap. So now you're all down on the ground, and a lot of the villagers have made their way back to the village. And Zora is, is still there with you, and she's just watching, and she's not noticed what, what you guys have noticed. Oh. Um, well, she's useful, isn't she? I saw that now. Of, I'm guessing Mr. Mr. The Goliath's pet is close because I've just heard it something land outside. A wyvern. Was, my colleague here said it's a dragon like. Oh. Oh, no, I've not heard of any dragons in this area. Just a wyvern really. The one that that man had. I can't see it past the tree. You can't see it. I can't. Is it? Yeah. You can't see it, no. It's um you feel it's, the vibration. Yeah, you just feel it. <laughs> feel it land. I'm thinking they're bad vibrations. We're gonna die very soon. <laughs> well if we stand here, maybe. We can go back to the other of a town. Yeah. He said, well, it, it, there's only one thing left that we can do, in it, right? It was this head back to the village, right? That's the whole thing. It, uh, it's what we got to do. We've done it. We're done here. We've we've done what we set out to do. No more loggers. They're all gone. So, yeah, in it, right? What do you yeah. reckon? Yeah. Good on. Yes. I like that. Thank you very much. It's very useful. <laughs> Uh, Despot notices with his passive perception that um, something flies overhead, um, as in over the canopy, and or towards the town or away. It it flies um, sort of towards where the loggers ran. All right, so they ran away over there, away from the town. Mm. Cool. So let's press, let's go back to the town. Mm. Either rest up or go with the other performers. See when they're going. If the big creature is gone, then yes, oh, I suggest we head back to the town. That is probably the safest place to go. So as you head back to the village um, with Zora. We get back and it's about midday now. So you had a long rest, and it's about midday, and people are just going about their business in the village. Uh, you can see down, you can see down where the entertainer's caravan is, and you can see that the stage is still set up and they're expecting to do another performance at some point today. Is the head, the ringmaster, let's put it. Mm, yeah, they're all yeah. down there. They're all down there, like, uh, practicing um, and just, like, chatting amongst each other. 
But um, you hear so. In fact, everyone, roll me a perception. Eight. Uh, Seventeen. Nat twenty. Nice. Perception. Or twenty-six. Seventeen. So everyone, apart from Mister Pierce, um, you hear over and like so imagine you're looking down at the village from the top like where that main structure is above the natural spring waterfall the pool in front of you the houses down at either side on the far side of the village is the the stage and everything set up where the entrance to the village is right to your left there is loads of trees and you guys you guys here over there no you bloody idiot just back over this way and you can hear to like arrows being fired um and then you see some arrows firing over like the small palisade wall that they've got going um they, they fire over and, and you can see like even torchlight because in the trees it can be quite dark you see a little bit of torchlight and a lot of the shouting um and the next thing you see is like this this giant spider like jumps over the fence and people there within the village are just in a panic as soon as they see it, like, ah, all running away. This thing lands on one of the, the, the thatched roofs and it's like scrambling to run away from whatever's chasing it. It jumps onto another roof, goes through that roof, and then you just see the doors open of this building and all these women just run out like red in the face, screaming, screaming their heads off. Um, that this spider, this giant spider has just fallen in there. You see it then jump out of a window and some of the, like the minority, uh, male members of the community, they try and attack it. And as they swing this thing, it's like almost, it like glitches out of the way, like just misses this guy, like swings his sword Ooh, into the ground. It's a phase spider. And, um, this thing just jumps on him right and then bites him and he's like ah! he goes like just freezes and then the thing wraps him up and hangs him from one of the houses and then runs along runs down to the next level um and there's a couple of other guys that are trying to hit it and then at this point you can look up to where it jumped over the the wall and you can see like guards night watch guards climbing over and then like an elderly bloke in a robe trying to get over and he can't quite do it um and he ends up like hanging from his robe with a couple of blokes trying to get him down i'm quite yeah. enjoying this i'm just gonna sit back and let them carry on <laughs> and um, so yeah they're, they're like there it is there it is there it is quick get it we can't let it get away we can't let it get away and this thing is running it's so fast it's the fastest like giant spider you've ever seen if you've ever seen one before um it's so so fast and it sprints around to the other side like where um where sort of like down onto the other level and then jumps into another house and pulls out somebody else wrapped in web which it hangs from one of the houses um as it's running around it's sort of going <laughs> like it's panting and like looking around at different people to like pounce on it jumps up a level and then jumps up another level as all these people are screaming, running away from it. These guys are running in now on the same level and the thing turns to look at you guys and sprints for you. Damn, right, okay. And I will... And I was quite enjoying letting them, like, not I'm do gonna... <laughs> In a weird way... Being lazy to I'm going to go try... <laughs> I'm gonna, it seems like I'm going to steal Seb's job, in a sense. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go use um, Fawn Whip to try tame it like a lion tamer. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Because seeing it well, panning is going to be like a dog. You're not as good as me. Hence why I said I'm going to try. So you cast <laughs> Thorn Whip and you, what, you whip it? You try and whip it? Um, either try and rip it or try and intimidate it. Okay. Right. Okay. Like, so, and then try and tame it. Okay. And I'll 
I'd love it if the Simpsons jumps on you, bites you, and turns you into a cocoon. Just <laughs> oh yeah, if it does, it does. So what does it? Uh, what do you do exactly? Like what does it look like? As this thing is like running at you with all dust like so kicking up behind it. I put my arms near whatever foliage is around, so it forms around my arm. Yep. And I will try and rip it. Okay, do, do an attack roll. Um, dirty twenty. Dirty 20 misses. Uh, you whip the ground next to it as it glitches to the left. You can roll an intimidation. Intimidation. That is dog shit. Six. No, it is not intimidated by you and it continues running towards all of you. Oh, bollocks. Fine. Whip comes out. I'm just going to step and go, he's death done. I'm <laughs> uh, just going to stand there. Whip's going to be in hand, but that's not going to be the primary focus. And I'm going to crocodile dundee this shit. Mm. And I'm going to cast animal friendship. Animal friendship. What does it have to do? Wisdom saving throw. Okay. It got a 13. Oh, that is a fail. Okay. So as soon as you, as soon as you like charm it, it just like, I mean, it continues running because that's what it was doing, but it feels strange and you can see it like slows down slightly, but then continues running towards Despot. Okay. Well, I can convince it that I mean it no harm and that no harm will become of it. I choose a piece within the range. I can see it here, you the beast intelligence. Yeah, it's already done the save and failed. Uh, it is charmed. Uh, as long as none of my companions hurt it. There you go. So, cool. All right. So it's charmed. It's not going to touch you, but it's going for Despot. Ah, well, see, this is the whole thing because he's my companion. So I can do the. We are all friends here. Stop it, buddy boy. Just try and. Okay. I'm sorry, how far away from it am I? Uh, it's pretty close now, so 20 feet. Okay, okay. If I can run over... <laughs> yeah. I just want to run over. I want to jump on his back and just kind of go... Shh, 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 shh. It, um, yeah, so you run and, like, you jump on it, but it's so fast, um, you, you can't quite get on it. it but it looks at you, it's like... A, <laughs> And like start slobbering up at, at your uh, your chest. This is a giant oh, wolf yeah. spider, and uh, then it looks oh, at Despot, and then starts going <laughs> and and slobbering up Despot, and then all of you just like a little a good little doggy. And um, what you notice on this thing is it has like mechanical braces on its legs um, around the joints, but um, these guys that were chasing it. They run up and then they stop and they like slowly approach like these these uh these guards and then like this this guy in the robe the blue the guy in the blue robe like pushes through and goes get out of the way you idiot crossbow crossbow is already out and pointed at his head and uh, same here with my fawn whip still <laughs> still ready uh, and he goes be very careful with that thing it's dangerous. Yes, it's so dangerous, isn't it, while it's slobbering up my chest. I'm right there petting you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh I good Logan. That. It's good, it's good Logan. Oh, I should I have learned it. that I spell. Oh, what did you cast? Was it uh, animal friendship? Me cast? I didn't cast anything. No, right. right. Just my friend. It's my skills with me ball whip, mate. Oh, well, my, my good friend told me I should have learned the animal friendship spell, and he was right. I should have. Oh, we've been chasing this thing for, for a whole day and, and a half now. Come all the way from uh, Osrin. What? Osrin. All the bloody Leave it on my way. List. From, all the way from Osrin. Osrin, that seems, oh, like, that seems like it's a long way away. Not well, about a day and a half. Uh, you bloody idiots! 
You go and help these uh, these people. They're obviously scared out of their wits. This stupid thing running around. He's and not they... stupid. He's very intelligent, and his name is Logan. Yes. Well, I haven't named it yet. Oh, I'm so glad you managed to stop it. Thank God. Thank God that these yeah. these lot. I've got. I've even picked up some night watch on the way. It's very, yeah, nice they, they, it's very nice that you're speaking that you've been chasing this thing. But would you like to tell me why you've been chasing it? Well, good uh, yoga. And... Well, um, like it, it escapes. It escaped. It escaped. Oh, where? Well, yeah, exactly. From uh, from my lab laboratory. Does he seem sus while uh Oh, he this? doesn't even seem sus. Or it's just Dan acting. Oh, well, no. Like, I, I'm not liking the hesitation eye shift. So I'm it's supposed to, to yeah. It's supposed, yeah. To, supposed to... I'm supposed to convey that to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, hmm. Yeah, it does seem a bit sus. Right. Well, I'd like to shake your hands. Thank you very much for uh, for stopping this creature. And uh, if you don't mind, we'll be on our way. My name is... Um, oh, no, I've forgotten my name. <laughs> <laughs> I, saw, I sort of rubbed my hand underneath the slobbery uh, front pincers of the uh, of Logan and then shake his hand. Oh, okay. My name is uh, Wizard Jeremy. Jeremy, uh, well... All these another wizard. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I've got oh. to say, I've got to say, from all the wizards that I've met, right, I don't like it much. You don't like the wizards? No, not really. I You're the second one so far. It's just I'm something saying, about you. Just about, it. There's something about the wizards in this sort of town, in this sort of countryside place, that just gives me the EBG, it's even more than Logan does. <laughs> This guy's got. You look at him. He's got unkept hair. Um, it's like all over the place, like a lot of the women of this this village. He's tall. He's got skinny, angular features. Um, he's quite old, and uh, yeah, he wears a dark blue robe. But he doesn't have a hat. <laughs> and um, it's, unkept hair and a bald. It's all like like all over the place. Like he's been electrocuted, and. Um, he has like a little mouse that runs around his shoulders. That's cute. I like that. See, now you've got a little mouse friend, right? And you couldn't tame a spider. That's very strange. But I do, I do think that you need to uh, look at your presentation a little bit. If you, I mean, if you give me ten minutes, I bet I can make you look special. Oh, that sounds lovely. What, what I have been running through a forest for for the last day. You sure you understand? Yeah. It, and, and I haven't had I and I haven't had a shower since we got here, which was what three days ago. <laughs> so <laughs> I know exactly how that feels. Yeah, not but many of them right, I, I can certainly sort you out. That would be lovely of you. Haven't been able to tame this beast in in years. All right. Put your ass down on this toadstool, then. I don't even know if there's right. a toadstool. Right. Just whatever's on the floor. I've got to be able to reach your head, and I'm only short. Yeah, you can. And I start, and I start. So what other things did you start seeing in the out? And I just do, do the old hairdress a bit. <laughs> what did you start in the forest while you were walking, man? You know, just catch him off guard. He might give me some info. Well, nothing much. Just uh, some some wolves. They ran off once they saw us, and that that thing running. Like, oh, that's lovely, lovely. Yeah, miles miles now it's almost like it was playing with us. It kept running for one side. They got the the. the the men I have with me, they tried to attack it, and then it, uh, oh, and it, and then it would just run to the other side, and we just couldn't catch it. It's so fast after its upgrades. Ooh. And I did absolutely nothing with the tools that I was using on his hair. I just cast prestidigitation. Yeah. And what does it look like now? <laughs> oh, mate, this 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 is it. So this is. It, he had a beard, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so the, but as long as the beard is, and it's got one of those beautiful curly flicks at the end, sort of comes oh, up, okay. makes you look like a musical note. The moustache comes out, does exactly the same. <laughs> and the hair itself, 
slick back, runs down both the sides, sleek sheen, and sitting beautifully curled on top of his shoulders. Oh, oh, lovely. Wow. I've not had my hair like this in a long time. So uh, tell me, gentlemen, you don't look like the, the usual type of people that would be living here. Are you taking your passing passes through? Well, if you're anything like the wizard we met a while ago, I trust you completely. So we're time travellers. <laughs> he laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> and how, laugh how on earth did you manage to time travel? And what time did you come from? Yesterday? Ha, uh, good one. Uh, <laughs> did, <laughs> did, did we ever manage to pinpoint exactly how far in the past we've come or we, kind of we, we, only, we only got thousand. a rough it was 2000 years roughly yeah yeah okay uh right yeah we're uh we're from 2000 years in the future mate that's why uh old despy is here is with us because he's a he's a construct Actually, from the future question for the dm a, we yeah. would know what year it was when we left home right yeah so we we so if we were to say to him we're from seventy two AD or whatever your yeah he he could tell us what year it is and we could work out to the year the guy when you first jumped through the guy that you jumped on the um, wagon with he told you what year it was and that's um, how you worked out it was two thousand years but that's okay fine yeah so we'll stick with two thousand years and we never got numbers we just got told 2000 yeah that's that's all you need really to... fair enough yeah so dear 2000 years all right cool yeah num numbers are confusing don't worry about those uh yeah that's why we all got all despy with us he's a he's a construct from the future he is he's a... hello stop talking <laughs> no we're we're it's all fun it's all fun and games we're here with the traveling uh entertainment down in the old yard there look he squints, looks down, he's like, ah, yes. They, they did stop at Osrin a while back. Yeah, I thought we were with them when they were in Osrin. We only met them a couple of towns ago. Mm. What, was the, what was the name of the wizard back in? Because I have the name Elton in my head, but that's not right. Um, <laughs> Barry. 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 Barry, that's the one. Oh, mate, yeah. Uh, Jeremy, lad, do you know Barry at all? Yes, I know Barry. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. we're, good, we're good mates with him, we are. Oh, right, right, yeah. Yeah, and did you tell the time travelling story to Barry, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Have any yeah. right laugh? Yeah, we did, actually. He actually yeah. believed us, though. That's the difference, mate. Oh, oh. Yeah, he actually, yeah. he believes us, he does. I'm going to throw, throw a quick one at him. Yeah, Barry, Barry's just inherited about 13 kids. That's unusual. Yeah, yeah we are. Got, Rambunctious bunch. Thir thir 13 uh, very of uh, very posh uh, children from rich families across the country interesting yeah all his what happened did they did the parents die i'm not sure they're being kidnapped oh no so much yet. kidnapped hmm, strange yeah kidnapped by a witch it was Telling them stories about how evil the wizards are. But of course, we don't believe them, you know. Yeah, no, yes, and, and rightly so. Yes. Mm. yes Still stupid, stupid Still about these wizards. Yeah, do you, do you think a wyvern flying around anywhere? No, I, I know that there is a wyvern in these, these forests somewhere, though. But you didn't manage to see it? No. Too busy concentrating on catching Logan here. Yeah, oh, that's right. Right. Yep. Yeah, that wirebird belongs to me daddy does we're trying to capture him he's the one that came through the time travel portal thingy and we've come after him to try and get this little crystal we have we're literally just i like the story yes, like aren't we? yes uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's an interesting story if, if you had some uh proof maybe i could believe you i mean a war forged is really uh you know it's quite impressive that one survived the wars, but uh, uh, that's not really a, a any proof from the future. And what could we do to prove that we're from the future? Oh, I don't know. It's you're the ones from the future. Have we got like any 
tech or items with us. Not tech, you know what I mean? Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we've got like these smartphones. <laughs> VR goggles. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just Snapchat this right away. <laughs> um, yeah, send it over me. I mean, surely 2,000 years, but even by the way we're dressed, should show a little something. Am um, I one of your instruments? Where's where's uh, where's the spider? He's I still, think you know, I mean, I'm he's still, still I'm still like ah good Logan good Logan good Logan. You look at Logan and on one of his fangs you notice that uh, there is a rune. A rune. Oh, lovely. Oh, let me guess. It's one of those runes, rune circles that we saw. Right, probably not a good idea, but I'll try it. I'll stick my face as close as possible and have a look at what it is in the hopes that nothing bites me. <laughs> it's, right. uh, it's fangs like quivering in front of your face. Um, and it's all, all of its eight eyes are focused in on you from as far as you can tell. It's all right uh, there, Logan. Don't worry, mate. It's yeah, all there, good. Boy. And it is a room that's been carved in to it to its uh its fang hey jeremy lad you know anything about this um carving oh uh, oh yes it's um basically just an owner's tag uh meaning that it belongs to me belongs to you okay yes oh. and it's uh if you could mm, well, yeah, that's all you need to know. Well, I like this guy more than Barry. <laughs> he's far more trustworthy. I don't like it because he's abusing nature, modifying animal modification. Oh, it makes it faster, more, more. Uh, you know, it, it makes it a better predator. He's a wolf spider that can glitch. I mean, what has he cast on it to make it glitch? Blink. So, so it's, it's, it's a blink wolf spider. No, it hasn't blinked. It's just really fast. Okay, no, the way you were saying it glitched. Yeah, it looks like it, it just is in one place and then in another. Well, no, again, and again, trying to put two, because you, like, you did that, it was panting like it was a dog. Mm. So, it's like a half-breed wolf spider blink dog. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, I can see how it's misleading. Yeah, uh, that's that's why that that that's originally my my thought. Mm. Yeah, yeah, same here. Because oh, especially okay. as we said upgrade, especially as we thought mm. blink dogs just before we came into this town. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. Why well, you just okay. let, let nature evolve by itself, not? Do not abuse animal rights. Why can't we just make things better? Because sometimes it f's up and bites you in the arse. Hence why the spider escaped. Oh, this just this is just a minor problem. It's resolved now, anyway. It's not because I think you'll find that this spider is currently mine. I think you'll find by the rune on its uh, tusk. Tusk. On its fang, it's currently Ooh. mine. Ah, you may own it, but I don't want to go with you. Well, it will if it goes in a bloody cage. <laughs> that's 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 not going to be the way this worked, is it, Mister Jeremy? And what do you suggest then? Well, now you're saying it. I've inherited a pet spider. Thank you. Retreated. No, you you can't. You can't take this. It's it's uh it's valuable. It's a valuable item. Is it's it a valuable? creature, not an item. Yeah, it's... see, you you you're, you're upsetting the wolf. Uh... And he doesn't have emotions. What gave you at the what... frame? What gave you like such interest in nature, war forged? Oh, trust me. It's I got given something that's very linked to nature. Right. What, and what was that? Well, 
let's just say I'm one with nature. So I got given powers of nature. Uh, when I see people like you abusing nature, it really <laughs> steams me up. Oh, my God. Right. Mm. right. Oh, I understand. I understand. But uh, what you don't understand is that this animal can be very dangerous. I yeah. must have it with me. In the wrong hands. And all I see is the wrong hands in front of me. So you would you would suggest that this thing just runs free with you? This fire is yes. my friend. <laughs> <laughs> if it if if this fire if if you walk away and this spider follows you, right, then it goes with you. But if he comes to me, then we keep it. No. <laughs> the oh. spider comes with me. But he won't come with you, though, will he? He has to. But he won't. doesn't have to. You want it to. No. There's, a re there's a reason why he's run away already. Look, if I don't have this spider back in Osrin, by the time another auditor comes around, I'll lose my magic license. Well, it means that you need to get back and do some more work because this one is not coming with you. They know of its existence and I will lose my magic license, so I must have it back. You can come and visit. You can visit it whenever you want. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds like you're in a bit of a pickle there, Jeremy. Yes. It does seem so. You're bloody right. What can I offer you, gentlemen, in the exchange spider. from the, for the spider? Interesting. <laughs> if we get, I mean, look, look right, it's his, it's his freaking spider, so I don't, I don't plan on keeping it. All right, let's team huddle then, lads. All right, yeah. bear with this. We'll, we'll huddle with, like, the spider. The spider will, like, cradle us as well. <laughs> right. Start spinning web around you. <laughs> Well, I mean, in all fairness, we've got Gong, Gongo, Bogey, and a flipping wolf, wolf, <laughs> a wolf spider in the huddle. <laughs> you, hear the, you hear the like the zipping of its uh, bionic parts. It's interesting. Bionic, we've got a bionic wolf spider. As much as I want to keep it, it is in. I mean, we could just say to him, you know, well, we stopped it, so how about, how about the reward? Well, he's not, he's not going to do anything with it, let's be honest. The damn thing will escape before he gets back on. Well, maybe this is our chance to head to another little uh, town or city then. We follow him to uh, uh, Oswald, or where he came from. He's, he's, he's Ozerin. Uh, what gonna, was his name, sorry? Ozerin. We'll go to Ozerin. we got to go and see Ralph first. Who's Ralph? He's the, he, <laughs> he was the really rich person. Who the bandits tried to attack us before we came into this town? Oh yeah, you know we got attacked by the boy band. That fucker. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All dear. right, Mister Pierce is turning out to be another. Well, let's take the spider. <laughs> right, well let's take the spider to him then. <laughs> to Ralph. Yeah. A bit of intimidation. I feel a bit kind of lonely seeing you two having your old friends. That's why I've got to be attached to the spider. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm all, I'm all for this spider joining our party. Right, let's be honest. But we need to figure out what we're doing with these guys because we're not just giving the spider back, surely. Like you no, two I... don't trust him, so why do you want to give him back to him? Exactly. I really don't trust him. This is this this is where my 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 brain of logic has already taken has already taken over. This thing has already escaped him once. It's going to escape him again. Yeah, but like, what if he uses it for other deeds in the meantime? Like, we can't risk him having it even for a little bit longer. Don't need a little wolf spider. Yeah, but you Have see you how seen it almost. It? Yeah, you, you see, see how it almost killed everyone. And there were, there were about twenty guards chasing it. Yeah. Are, are those people that have been cocooned still just hanging? Like, <laughs> no, he <laughs> So you look, yeah, you look down, and you can see that they're just like out, but they're just frozen. 
like they've been stunned. All right. Yeah. Paralyzed. Paralyzing fight. Yeah, I mean, like, look all the destruction it can do. Like, even if it's just in their possession for a little bit, even if it runs free, it could wipe out a whole neighborhood. Or a tan neighborhood, sorry. Go on, Sebi, you're the smart one here. Thanks. I was as a compliment. But I still reckon he should have his spider back because in about half an hour, my charm's going to run out on this and it's going to be a wild spider again. Well, yeah, good point. <laughs> okay. Uh, Don't like it, but... Actually, now, what does animal friendship last? 24, 24, hours. 24 hours. I've got, I've got a day. I've got a day of an animal friend. Yeah, plenty. Look, guys, do you trust my intelligence? Actually, no, don't answer that. Right. Um, yeah, I say we keep it for now and then we let it run free afterwards. Better than being with this sod. Actually, that's unfair. I do like him, but I don't trust him. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to turn around and go, right, we've made a decision, and no, you can't have the spot. Oh. Keep it. I'll just have to face the music. And dance. Yeah. Yeah. Geppetto worked so hard on those joints. He walks off. Oh, what a dick. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Damn. I'm so happy that I got it now. Must be no Geppetto. <laughs> <laughs> now that is. Wait, so, wait, wait. So Geppetto's Gepe- over 2,000 years old. <laughs> or when he got kidnapped, he, he got that freaking, that whole thing about kidnapping all the villagers was to get Geppetto to take him back to build the ship for this guy. Your old man's involved in some it. Illuminati no, shit, right. mate. It seems so. Damn. I Mr. 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 Pierce is in, involved in some proper undercover shit here. If Geppetto has been brought back in time 2,000 freaking years <laughs> to build a mechanical spider. Oh, bloody hell, yeah. Yeah, good point. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, 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 wait. So, because when... Uh, sorry, I'm being really stupid here. So when Mr. Mr. Pierce jumped through the portal, he didn't have Geppetto with him. No, he didn't. No, but no. Geppetto could have already have gone through. No, no he left him, him in like a dying slump. <laughs> yeah. We asked him to go back to for the other villagers who got taken back to the... Yeah, Billy took town. him back and everything. So Geppetto was on the wagon? Geppetto was on the wagon. So Geppetto's over 2,000 years old? Always another Geppetto. Was he a junior? <laughs> was he Geppetto the fifth or something? He never, he never told me if he was junior. Just Oh, my God. No, it says junior. Oh, I'm so confused. He might be senior. He might be a senior. He might be a junior. I don't know. That, that's left me asking, asking more questions than it's answered. Ah, damn. I did a degree in quantum physics and I'm less confused. I don't, don't know anything about my oh. supposed father. I'm going to have to pull out of this soon. Confusing me. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he's walking uh-huh. off. Okay, bye. See you later. Oh, keep the bloody thing. Au revoir. Harry the Dirty. Come on, you lot. Hurry up. Yeah, Good see you later. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming. Cheers. Those young gentlemen are going to look after it. Well, at least for the next 20 hours, 23 hours. <laughs> well, I've got. Plenty of time to go be f- make friends of it without this yes. guy. You can have a pet mechanical spider made by your dad. Yep, 2,000 years ago. Always wanted a pet. He never let me. Hmm. This guy is, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to look him in his eyes. Right, all, all, all eight of them. And I'm just going to go, you're bloody awesome. 
that's your new buddy over there, that one. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> go, go and slobber on him. They like glitches over to you. <laughs> don't, don't be on my arse. <laughs> you, <start, laughs> you start doing all the licking. Yeah. What kind of sidekick have I got? You've got a wolf spider. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wolf spiders uh, aren't that big, are they? They're like medium. Yeah. Are they? Yeah, medium creature. Um, medium beast. So, yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah, medium because they're the same size as us. Yeah. Yeah, so you can't ride it. I have fun. I can ride it. Um, but this uh, this wolf spider has an armor class of 23. Oh, bloody hell, no. Because <laughs> it is so fast. But it has 10 hit points. No, no, no hit points with high armor for us. Fair enough. Interesting. Um, and you've got evasion as well, which is... Uh, well, I had to be smart with this. Yeah. And you've got a bonus action called Cocoon. Oh mate, the, the, this is it. If we do, if we're doing another, uh, another performance, we're going to do it with our glitching spider, right? Of course. Yeah, bloody right. Can we have a volunteer from the audience? Would you? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I've got an idea. I've oh. got a good idea for a magic trick. Oh, yeah. good. Well, save, save it, save it. Don't tell them what it is yet. The movement speed of this spider is 80 feet. Wow. <laughs> Damn, freaking hell. I'm so happy I saved it. <laughs> That's Dang. crazy. So he, um, you see him gather his, his troops and the Night Watch guys don't go with him. But uh, the guys from, from Osrin that guard force goes goes with him and he just turns and he's like sorry for all the disturbance i do apologize send you some flowers or something if you like those and then he uh, walks off interesting and he goes down the path that you came up to get here but uh at this point, after all that happening, it's uh, sort of getting to late afternoon now. It might be time for another show. And I will yeah. go over and try to pitch my idea to the, the ringmaster. Okay. Uh, so he's, there, he's like, oh, yeah, you, you ready? You're going you're gonna to ref again, are you? Referee, I've yeah. got another idea for an act with our new colleague. Seems. <laughs> oh! Yeah, got an idea, including. Right. That's. I'm worried that thing is going to scare the customers away. Is it all right? Is it safe? It's friendly. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely creature. Right, right. All right then. What, what, what is it then? What are you can do? It's going to be a surprise. It's a surprise act. Oh, all right then. <laughs> all right then. Right. Well then, if everyone's ready, uh, Seb, you happy to go on first again this time? I mean, well, not again because you can. You weren't ready, really, but. <laughs> <laughs> And all fairness, I'm not ready this time, but yeah, go on. Dave, get your cat ready. Wow. <laughs> can I, can, can I, can I, can I, can I proper ham in a performance? Like, not even, like, just go out there and tell some bad jokes for two minutes. Uh, like, I don't want to be there kind of performance. Well, look, if you're not feeling up to it, you know, you can sit this one out, as seeing as, uh, Despot's got something, something else. You can uh, take your place. No, it's all right. Come on, let's let's get. Let me give you. I'm just gonna tell some. I'll tell some sad jokes. 
Right, but the main event is the wrestling. I'm going to need you to announce that because you did such a good job last time. Fuck's sake. Right, and uh, maybe we could get the, the spider involved. Oh, As, God. Uh, maybe, In the yeah, maybe it could be uh, uh, like... Um, Oh, I don't know what you call it. You know, if you if you fall out, you get done in by the spider or something, <laughs> or have it dangling from the top, and you got to try and throw each other up to it. Oh dang! Oh, that could work. Oh, that's a good point. I need to like clue in Gongo and Bogey that we're like it's not real. <laughs> yeah, I need to tell them that. Oh, so, I thought it was real. No, no, we're just pretending. We oh. want it to make it seem real, but we're not trying to hurt each other this time. Uh, I know it's not real. Good. But I know it's still. <laughs> <laughs> All sorted then. We'll be fine. Don't have to plan anything. Let's go. Uh, might make it real. Might no, make no. it real for fun. It was fun last time. Yes. No, no. I'll punch you. I'll punch you in your bollocks again if you do that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Maybe I'll make it real. Maybe not. All right, well, we we'll shall see. see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, well, uh, well, we'll put all the weapons aside somewhere else just to make sure. All right, all right. get your weapons, lads. Put them away. Not going to use them. Just to make sure. Don't trust your bogey. Uh, dagger as well. Yeah, put everything dagger away. Well. What no about weapons. javelin? Javelin, yeah. Put and javelin. Put away. Oh. Can I bite? Yeah. I, ideally not, but yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe bite then at this winning move. Bite head off or something. <laughs> yeah, all right. Give it a try. Try just not bite to kill. <laughs> try not to kill Bogey. Okay, I try. I try. Oh, okay. This is going to end badly. Oh, well. All right, so the ringmaster guy is like, right, right, what's going on? Where, are you going on, Seb? Are you going on? Or is Dave going on? What's going on? Oh, oh, what's going on? Yeah. You don't seem up to it. Are you sure you're, you're sure you're fine? Right, because look, there's a crowd there. Yeah, there's a crowd. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to tell some, I'm going to tell some jokes. That's it. Right. Uh, all right then, ladies and gentlemen. First act, Sebastian. Show up. Yay! Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm just gonna uh, uh, stretch out. Oh, that actually really hurt. Shoulder crack. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. Nice to be here. Nice to be here. See, have any of you ever thought about what a cleric's favourite drink is? Right. Uh, no. 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 It's, uh, it's got to be a nice hot cup of divinity, surely. There you go, see. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have a good expression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, because I mean, three clerics walked into a bar, then the fourth one ducked. Right. That's <laughs> 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 I told you, I'm, 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 I'm I've got a of bad, I've got bad jokes that I need to get rid of. That's performance, what performance. Now. Roll a performance. Oh, God. It's going to be good. Oh, re-roll that as a one. <laughs> See, look, even with these shit jokes, my performance is a 16. No, 18. Yeah, Ooh. they like it. Oh, Come on, then. Here's another one. Oh, God. Why do wizards like fireballs so much? Uh, because it's a well rounded spell. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Too, many, too many thinkers for you. Too many thinkers. <laughs> what else you got? Oh, none. I'm going to walk off the stage in a minute. Oh dear. Yeah, these are all really bad jokes. Like they're worse than the ones I've already told. We well, just want to hear the jokes, mate, not the yeah. excuses. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I talking <laughs> to you? Do apologize. 
<laughs> yeah, a few of the lads like hey, 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 laughing at his mate. <laughs> um oh, I could just I could just throw a load of insults at the crowd. Like, yeah, loads, do that. Loads of your mama jokes. Oh dear. Sir, your mama's so dumb she got hit by a parked horse. There you go. I think it's gotta try and hey, <laughs> performance. <laughs> He acted in Carlos Fisher's Rockaway. Oh dear God, 28. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just nice. like, ah, pointing at this one bloke. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> your, your, your mother's so old, she breastfeeds with powder. And, I, and just a little bit of like powder makeup comes out of my hand. <laughs> like a magic trick. Laugh hard and he walks off. Can't take it. Yeah. Can't take it. And then everyone claps. Cheap. And I just kind of, yeah, thank you very much. And I won't be back. See you later. <laughs> and for our next performer, something special. And I know I, I don't want you to be alarmed because I know it just attacked the village. But <laughs> oh, trust <yeah>. us, <laughs> it's fine now. It's tame and it, it'll be absolutely fine. I promise you. If not, your money back. All right. I present to you Despot, and it is amazing. I don't know what he's going to do with it. A spider thing. No. Really? <laughs> right. So, my original idea. So, you see me as I am. I'm going to get the spider to cocoon me. Mm -hmm. And then I'll well shape to a different animal. Oh, oh yeah that's cool that's cool <laughs> nice so it, it cocoons you and um yeah and then what do you wild shape into um because i'm level four it's half my druid level half your druid level no throwing oh. speed But it's just for a performance, so just do whatever yeah. you want. Um, See, the, the spider's like that at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I transform to a wolf. A wolf? Yeah. Okay. You just see a robotic wolf. Well, I chose something a little bit more cuddly, for sure. <laughs> 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 So you wild shape into a wolf, and then what do you do? Just, you know, try and land from the cocoon to the... Hmm. Okay, I like the idea. You can have an inspiration for the idea, because I really like it. Cool. Um, Thank you. And you yeah. land in front of the crowd, roll performance. I can tell bad jokes and still do good on the performance. Yeah. <laughs> that was... I don't believe how it has a 14. 14, yeah, not bad. They're, they're, a little, they're a little shaken from the spider, and then they're a little shaken that a, a wolf has come out, but they're like, oh, that's still quite amazed. And they, they clap, they clap you there. Uh, like the, sp the spider bows. Yeah, we both bow. And uh, go off. And we'll both walk out. Um, oh, am I now announcing the wrestling? Yeah. Okay. I'll slowly but surely transform back so I can do my referee duties. What, what's the what's the act? What's the act for the wrestling? Are you just doing a standard wrestle? Or... Right. Well, well oh. we're gonna we're gonna have a chat first of all before. Well, uh, well, well I'm, like I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna announce it. I'm 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 in. I'm I'm ready to go. Right. I'll, I'll tell you what's happening. Instead, of, we'll tell you the plan, everybody. So go on, go, bogey, listen up. Cool. You know, right. <laughs> So I'll just see if there's like a... Uh, ladies, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time. Yeah. Um, you ready? And then, no, 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 yeah, we've got to tell you the rest of the plan. So, I, don't know what the, I don't know what any of the plan is. Ladies and gentlemen! No, 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 listen. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll make it up then. All right. Yes, wing it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our main event of the afternoon. Gongo versus Bogey. 
as our reigning champion from this morning's combat, Mr. Pierce. <laughs> he will be standing in the corner on his own against his two opponents, Gongo, and you picked him out of his nose, Bogey, in a two-on-one <laughs> handicap match. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Piercer, piercer, piercer. The piercer, object, are you ready? The, uh, the object of this match is to knock your opponent to the outside of the ring where the mechanical spider will be lurking. To cocoon them, therefore knocking them out of this combat. And contenders ready. Piercer, are you ready? No, I'm really not. <laughs> I've been shafted here. <laughs> right. All right. But, but yeah, Dongo, sure, ready. Bogey, are you ready? Yes. Yes. Trying to differentiate. Ring the bell. Perfect. Ding, ding. Perfect. 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 So what happens in the ring? So go, Gongo, I'll roll Gongo and Bo, Bogey. Oh, right. fact, no, uh, Seb can roll. Seb. James can roll uh, Gongo. I'll roll Bo, Bogey. Right. Uh, well, seeing as I am the uh, world champion of Preston Vale, I will require a tag team partner to uh, even the odds. So, does someone from the audience, one of you muscly men, uh, want to join me? Take it on these two. Uh, but persuasion to the audience. <laughs> Yes. I quite like the idea of throwing a throw bar. Is that one that's giving it larger still there? I would have talked to him. I like, I like, the, I like the idea, so I throw him a bardic inspiration. Have a D6 on top of that. Mm. Hey, thank you. Persuasion. Yeah. Cool, 21. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> beat, beat it by one. Um, yes. Yeah, you just you look out, you don't see anyone at first, and then you just see this huge figure. <laughs> Stand up. Yes. And walk forward. And this huge figure is just a really fat woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 damn. Sweet. That'll do. And she goes, I All will right. be your partner. And squeezes yes. you. And she jumps in. Right, who's going ah. first then? <laughs> This is brilliant. Oh, right, love, remember, got to throw him out of the ring. Oh, that's do that's... more than that to him. Yes, that's a good spirit. Right, cool. So I'll kind of try and shove her in the way of Bogey and Gongo. <laughs> See uh, what happens. Becomes a barrier. She's like, her unibrow is just like <laughs> mesmerizing <laughs> them as she's standing there. Cool. So, they... yeah. Well, uh, are they fully mesmerized by this and kind of? All of her attentions on her. Yeah, they're all sort of like they're sort of like going, trying to find a way around her, but like going, oh, 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 looking, trying to see if they can get a line of sight with, with you. Sweet. So while they're uh, occupied looking at her, I'm going to climb up onto the uh, the corner uh, post, and I'm going to jump over the top of her and try and uh, double kick both of them. Okay. Try and launch them out of the ring. Right, acrobatics. All right. The old misdirection with the fat lady acrobatics. Uh, 15. Yeah. Okay. 15. And let's get an attack roll. Uh, and what I want you to do is you do one roll for the attack, but you're going to split the damage if you hit. Cool. 16. 16. So. Bogey hasn't got his, his shield anyway. So you hit and then you hit Gongo as well. So you hit both of them. And what damage do you deal to them? Uh, it's unarmed damage, so four. So they take four four points of damage. So it, two uh, no, sorry, two. Yeah, yeah. two. And um, they'll do a, a dexterity saving throw because they are not expecting it. Bogey got a nat 20. Gongo <laughs> didn't. Um, Gongo's plus zero gives him a three. A three. Gongo goes flying. It just knocks him off balance and he just lands with his face in the mud. Um, Mechanical spider jumps on him straight away. Just... 
I just drags him away. And was like, <gasps> Don't worry, he's safe. <laughs> For now. Don't listen to him. He's going to be eaten. Right. Come That's on then, fun. bogey boy. Ugh. Move, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what? Move, bitch. She in way. You cheat. I'm so sorry, love. I didn't ask your name. What is it? Well, she's blocking. It's uh, Hag- Hagna. 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 No. <laughs> yes, Hagna. Hagna the Destroyer. Right, we got this. Come on. All right. Cool. So, so at this point, uh, it's because I jumped over Hagna for the double kick. So it will be Bogey, me, and then Hagna. Um, I think it'll be <laughs> Bogey's turn to attack. Yeah, I yeah. think Bogey's going to like try and go for you. So he's going to just try and grapple you. So we'll do a contested athletics. Cool. Bogey did pretty good. Athletics is 17. 24. So he grabs you and um, he is going to try and chuck you out of the ring. So All he right. raises you up. He like shoulder presses you above his head and he roars to the crowd. Um, Hagner is just standing there, blocking their view. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he's going to do uh, an athletics uh, again, which he does a 19, and he throws you, and you're, you're, you're about to go out. You could give me what do you want to do anything as you're flying through the air? As you Hagner, flying... clobber him as I kind of like, oh, get him, Hagner. She swings down to bogey with a 15 on the dice and hits him for, let's say, five points of bludgeoning damage from the... Uh, as P- as PC has been fist. thrown out of the ring. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, spiders, yeah, cocooned him. <laughs> she cocooned him straight away, leaving bogey, the new champion. Let's have a little outro from the... Uh... Oh, Hagner, you got... Hagner's still there. She might win. Oh, okay, then, yeah, okay. Let's keep going with Hagner. Oh my god! Right. Is Hagner he, is Hagner a normal woman? She's normal-ish. She's it's massive. Quite a giant. Her brother's Hagrid. She looks like a sumo wrestler. <laughs> Damn. Um, I'm, only, I'm only asking. I'm, I'm, I'm... No I'm more companions. To, I'm, I'm trying to save her from harm. <laughs> um, yeah, she is just like a commoner. But she's pretty strong. Okay, a commoner who's pretty strong. Mm, yeah. Any any chance I could just be on the outside of the ring and just kind of go <coughs> go sleep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sleep bogey. Ah. Oh, oh uh, I'm gone. Sorry, I'll shout. I'll mute myself. You're in a cocoon at the moment. Going. Ah, ah. I might. I might. Yeah. I might not get. I might not get bogey's hit points in one in one go. Yeah. So so Hagner's like turn around and uh, they iron each other up. Both drooling. Right. Go on, King I'm gonna wait for the opportunistic time. Okay, let's have Miss let's have uh, Jack, you take control of um Hagner. So... Oh lovely. Right. No, that's not a fat woman's voice. Oh lovely. Right. Uh... Oh lovely. Have <laughs> you ever spoken to a fat woman? Ooh, they just right. sound like a woman. No, well, they don't. don't. They're not people. <laughs> Okay, so she swings her arm and kind of hammer fists on the top of Boogie's head, kind of compressing his spine, hopefully. Go, do, a, do a roll, straight roll. <laughs> All right. That'll do, donkey. Oh, no, natural one. You know, <laughs> no, you swing, lose your balance, and she, like, thrusts her belly uh, oh no, sorry. I'm, yeah, um, oh yeah, yeah, uh, and yeah, sorry. She loses balance, rolls forwards, and uh, Bogey is just going to kick her with a. Bogey's going to kick her. Just going to kick her, like and keep her going, um, as she like heads towards the side, and he kicks her, and she like adds the momentum, and she's like barreling forwards almost. About to barrel forwards. 
And then he goes up onto the turnbuckle, jumps off and does a double footed kick or whatever you call call it. Okay. Um, yeah. Yep. Drop kick and kicks her in the back and smashes her out of the ring. Oh, good. I'm going to look after sleep on that one. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to save her from damage, but Bogey was very content and beating the shit out of her. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and Bogey just stands and goes, Yeah! Yeah, and then, ladies and gentlemen, your new champion, Bogey. I've always made his snorting out of his nose. That all of them and roaring. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's have a big hand for our for our standing contestant this evening, Hagner. Yes, that's all. Stands up. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Crazy old pin. Um, and that ends the show, and they close it down as usual. Curtains come across, and they start like everyone goes away, and um, they come back. They're, oh. Paid us in flowers. <laughs> Need the money. Well, uh, sorry. Uh, let me just have a look how much coin I have. Well, we got to do about flowers. We paid. We That's went. The payment. We, we went round. Came back with a bucket of flowers. We've got currency here, have they? <laughs> oh, I did that yesterday. Oh, no, sorry, this morning. You thought it was going to be different. Well, well, uh, consider this a special thanks from Zora herself, and I'll give him uh, six golds. Oh, thank you very much. Very kind, very kind. You were the performers. You should have, uh, should have earned a little bit. Yeah, have a flower. Oh, thank you. Now, I'll pretend it's from Zora. You're not from us. Like, oh, no, we're just humble people. Zora gave this to us earlier because she saw the performance and everything. She did okay. leave during said set, but she did enjoy it. Yeah. So he thanks you for that. And he's like, right, are you, I know you're a little bit sort of battered and that. Do you want to help pack up? You don't have to. I'll just get the uh, servants to do it if you want. To do. All right, then. Yep. Yeah, right. Right, you lot. I can get to work. And they start dismantling the stage and that. Um, I'll try to break um, Gongo out of his cocoon. Okay, Mr. Yeah. Pierce is already out of his because he went in one too. Mm. Managed to stop the spider before Hag- before uh, Hagner got put in one. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so what are you guys going to do now while they, they're sort of doing everything? Because that was like the evening showing. Um, a lot's happened in this day. We, uh, did I see where Hagner went, per chance? Uh, yeah, Hagner went with her friends um, to the pool area. Okay, so did she seem all right, not too injured? She seemed walking uh, she, away. She's got a little bit of a limp, but she's she's got a smile on her face. So. Hmm. Don't bother you from pissing on them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. That's fine. Then. Don't need to chase her down. Cool. We can hear her coming anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try and feed um, our new buddy. Okay. With one of my um, rations. Okay. Yeah. Eats it out of your hand. Under a mouse. <laughs> um. So just to remind you that what what there is here, they've they've got like a little in free in. Everything's free, remember? Uh, they've got the pool. They've got um, the main place where Zora stays at the top of the fountain. Um, sorry, waterfall. And then you've got the like the bar that like the open air bar. Yeah, I'm symbol night for me. Just hovering around the bar. Listening to other people's conversations whilst sipping a nice bottle of rosé wine, watching the sun go over the trees mm. before I nestle down for a lovely evening of snoring. Hmm. Yeah. You hear a lot of talk about the blood sap from the blood sap tree and um, what great healing powers it has and that they're going to take some 
to Silent Stone tomorrow morning. Silent Stone? The next town over. And while, while you're sort of walking about, you can see that there are people filling up uh, like a handcart with and like a donkey attached to it and then they, they're filling it up with loads of herbs vegetables uh, bottles of stuff um ready to ready to go the next day as the uh the performers wagon um packs up and they're pretty much ready now and they're mingling amongst everybody in, in the village so remind me um the name of that guy that set the people on us and where he was. He was back at the first place. Uh, so it was Ralph. Oh, yeah. Um, and he's back in the first village of Goldridge. Yeah. Do you, in that case, do you think there's any worth uh, backtracking uh, back to Goldridge? I mean, you know, he set people on us and everything, but we're trying to find Mr. Mr. Pierce and that's kind of a first priority. Don't want to lose him. I don't know. You're the smart one, Seb. What, what do you think we should do? I don't know. I really want to go and confront Ralph. Mm. That's like, that's been in my head since that guy told me. I mean, you know, I don't want to kill him for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, I want to go and find out why Ralph's got bastards on the trek. I've still got the receipt in my pocket for one free mugging. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. Um, <laughs> get out, of, get out, of free card. It's, 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 get, get out of a mugging jail card. Yeah. Um, yeah. Get out of a mugging free card. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I, I quite, I quite fancy going to see Ralph. Mm. I don't okay. I don't think we're gonna get anything else out of where we are. Mm. They're gonna take the, they're gonna take the so if I remember correctly, I'm just trying to I'm trying to get my geography right here. So we sort of we sort of came out of one town and went over here to go to this town, but we could have gone that to go to the other town. They were sort of like the crossroads to go um, to the town on the map. <clears throat> Yeah, so about a mile out from where you are, it joins like a main road, which is an old main road. Um, and yeah, so it, it comes to like a T junction as if you were going back out to it. And then if you went right, you would go to um, Gold Ridge. If you went left, there is a track that goes straight on, don't know where it goes. And then if you further on down on the right, there is a track that goes to Silent Stone. Yeah, so uh, I would like to go and find out why Ralph is such an arsehole. Hmm. In all honesty, I don't think it will affect us too much if we don't find out. Hmm. So it seems like a side quest. It does seem like a side quest. Uh, yeah. I mean, once we sort out Mr. Mr. Pierce, we can always come back and kill Ralph then. Well, we've got... So we were at Goldbridge. The next town over was Vertness, right? Vertness was somewhere near Tuscan Vale. Somewhere near Tuscan Vale. <laughs> They've got all these notes written down. They're not making sense now because they're just turning into scribbles. Because <laughs> I've got... The first thing that I've written down is next town, Vertness. Now, was that next town that we needed to visit was Vertness? But why did we need to go to Vertness? Because <laughs> that's not written on my notes. No, it's just there's, there was another town named Vertness. Okay. But then I've got the Wizard University is at Silent Stone. And mm. Silent Stone is miles away. That is a trick. That is not around the corner. Hmm. And we've got this other place that's got Warforge. Uh, uh, Os Osserin, where Jeremy came from, which is a, a day and a half chasing a spider. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
So yeah, I don't I don't think we're gaining anything from the Ralph thing. So I think it might just be make our way to the next town. Silent Stone is closer than Osrin. Really? Mm. Because when okay, I thought Silent Stone was a long way away because it's where the Winners Wizards University is. And the description was a long way away. Mm. Yeah. It may have seemed a long way away to the townsfolk. Okay. So, all right, fine. So, Silent Stone is within a day and a half. Tuscan Vale, which is where we are. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then we've got Vertness. We've also got Wood Bank. We've got where? Wood Bank, where those loggers came from. Yeah, no, we, we scared the loggers away. They're currently, they're currently all laying logs of their own. We've got like Wayne's End as well, or something. Callum well. End, yeah. Callum End, sorry. Wayne's World. <laughs> <That's somewhere>. Wayne's <laughs> World. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Callum End is uh, past Goldrich. Yeah, uh, right. I mean, I'm happy to go with your uh, decision, Sebi. Oh, I just think maybe head on to Silent Stone or something, carry on the direction we're going, and we can always uh, come back to Ralph later on. Your, your old man's currently dry, flying around on a wyvern, so... Mm. Um, yeah, I might have to prioritise that. <laughs> and we need to go and find uh, this fella named Geppetto, who's apparently an Osserin. Yeah. That seems... That seems top of, that's top of my list. It's a very rare name, that is, Japan. I can't imagine too many people being called it. <laughs> True. True. Right, well, what do you think, Despy? Where do you think we should go next? You have to decide right think... here. <laughs> do I have to admit, um, hearing Geppetto has piqued my interest. Mm. But I don't want to be selfish. Well, that's Osirin, and that's it. That 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 is further away than the Wizards Uni, but we needed to go to the Wizards Uni to ask about the crystals. Mm. Right, Sun Stone it is then. Here, here, I'll drink to that. Yeah, this this, this writing note stuff helps, you know. Yeah, mm. yeah, helps me as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, if 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 only the DM. Of this, you know, wrote notes for the other DM story, you know. I do, but <laughs> I remember it all, so I don't need to. <laughs> yeah, you remember it all, he says. Mm, yes. mm. Character doesn't. You know, my character, <laughs> my character wouldn't remember it, so I don't. <laughs> so what, um, so are you going to you gonna have a long rest here, or are you just going to go? Oh, no, I'm going to finish my bottle of rosé and have a kid. Mm. Okay, so you have a long rest. And might as well just take a break there. Hmm. Uh, take five minutes. Marvellous. All right, so you wake up in the morning and um, you look down and you can see the caravan ready to go. Um, Bogey's not there again. Oh, Bogey. I'm telling you, he's pissing in the poles. And you can see three carts that are full with uh, herbs and spices and, and bottles of things. And yeah. So I just want to walk out and go, Buggy! Mm -hmm. What? Don't you dare piss in that pool. No! I take shit. Oh, God. <laughs> no one's seen him yet. I'll strip you of your championship. <laughs> if you do that, you'll go back. You'll go back to being just bogey, no nothing. <laughs> I finished anyway. Oh, bollocks. Uh, he, <laughs> he grabs somebody's washing to wipe. No. <laughs> and laughs and then hangs it back up, tries to conceal it <laughs> by like folding it over a different way. Please tell me you got some of it with the help, Seb. <laughs> oh, can't wait. 
<laughs> be so funny when they discover. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so he, he goes to the the uh, the wagons. What are you guys doing? Head in, head in hands. I'm just, just walking away. Just walking away. Probably see how. Um... Oh, what was the name? That's Sarah. I can't remember the name of the spider. Logan. Logan, that's it. So you have Logan still with us. Logan is with you. Yeah, Logan's right next to you. Oh, that spider. <laughs> ah, that's Logan. Um, cool. Uh, no, I think Mr. Pierce would just be ready to head off. Cool. <laughs> Gongo is um, meditating under the waterfall. Good place to meditate. Mm. No, he's got shitted on from Belgi doing his morning turd. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he didn't notice it. He's just sitting there meditating, sitting on the rock as you guys form up to leave. And so the, 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 go and go me old mucker, you coming with? What? Are you coming? I meditate. It's beautiful here. He's very nice, yes. But we gotta leave. I stay. Oh god, good look to him. I think he just got his new freaking thing. I'm not even gonna try and convince him. Okay, okay bye. Really? You just gonna leave Gongo? Yeah, reverse psychology like a kid. Like, all right, bye. Oh, no. yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> Rather <a> persuasion, Lim. <laughs> Rather reverse persuasion. <laughs> uh, that will be 18. No, 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 wait. No, no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. I can't believe you're um, gonna leave him. Well, it did reverse psychology. Well, yeah, well, it did well, work. well wonders. Well, well. I've got two kids. I'm used to doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to. Go on in, stay there. <laughs> <laughs> um right, you see these three carts full of herbs and stuff, and um mm. like rattling at the back are these big bottles of clear liquid. Um, they start to make their way um, down the down the track, and then the the guy at the front of the wagon, um, he's still got the night watch horses attached, and the night watch have just been chilling with them. It's like they've just forgotten their duties, hmm. um, and they're just sitting on one of the wagons. And he goes, All "Right onwards, Silent Stone, yeah." So we've picked up another couple of straddles. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I convinced their horses to come with us. Marvellous. <laughs> it's not about convincing the humans, though. It's convincing the animals. Mm. Awesome. Okay, yeah. Silent, silent stone, is that where we're going? That's what you said, wasn't it? I don't know. Yes. No, uh... Yeah, we wanted to look silent stone first and head it was to silent Oswald. stone is chatting to the night guard. Do you have any idea how, how far away Vertness is? Vertness, um yeah. it's out in the moor. It's probably about more what? Um more more land. Um <laughs> it, it's just uh, yeah, it's a little there's not even a track, you wouldn't be able to get a cart to it. It's a little ways back towards Gold Ridge. Uh, not too far, and then there's a track you got to fight. It's hard to spot, and you, you wouldn't get a wagon down there. And it just goes off. It's in the mall. Oh, silent stone it is then. Off to noisy rock. So you <laughs> trundle along with these uh, these women pulling their carts. Uh, oh no, the donkeys were pulling their carts. Um, up to you get to the T junction. 
uh, where you entered to go to Tuscan Vale. And to go to uh, Science Stone, you go left. So the wagons, they turn left. And so do these women uh, with the carts, they go into Science Stone as well. After a little while, you get to a right turn, which goes to Silent Stone, or there is a road that continues straight on. And the ground is um, like sort of chalky in that direction. And so you continue with the wagons. And up ahead, you can see something and there's a there's like a few more people starting to walk past you now uh, from silent stone um, travelers of the morning like groups of them traveling to other locations uh, but um yeah you see what looks like to be a tower of some kind of description so it's it's quite tall. It's it's a really tall, thin tower made of stone. And as you get closer, you can see that there is a, a large, like stone uh, toll gate. Um, and there are a lot of people sort of queuing up, waiting to go through the toll. Uh, there's a lot of rocky boulders now in this terrain and you can see the route to silent stone goes up into not mountains but quite steep hilly terrain um, and you get up to this toll and it's like two small towers with a portcullis door which everybody's like sort of walking in and out there's some guards there um and there is like this huge tower that's, that goes up by about 100 feet. You can see that there's guards on the top of that as well. Oh. Um, and you get, to, you get to the front of the queue. And the guard goes, right, what's your destination? I'm assuming there's somebody at the front of the queue that's going to give it, if not here. So. Noivy Rock! Silent Hill. <laughs> We're getting it all wrong. Silent Stone. <laughs> Silent Stone. Right. It's five copper piece per person per mile. All right, if you're on foot. There's one silver piece per mile uh, for, for small hand carts, like those ladies are just taking in there. Two silver pieces per mile for a horse, per horse. And five silver pieces per mile for a uh, large cart. All right, okay. I've got, all right. Uh, let's start off with How many one miles question. is it? It's uh, six miles. Six miles to Silent Stone. So that should work out. Oh, about. Well, let's do me, me, do me, no, me number counting. Uh, uh, so what you got there? You got, you got six horses, you got three carts. Uh, it should come to about. 14, 15 gold pieces, should we say? Your maths is terrible. 15 gold pieces. So you've got six horses, right? Yeah. Yeah, six horses. You with me, yeah? I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got six horses, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's two silver piece per mile per horse. Right? You got five silver pieces per mile uh, per cart because you got a large cart. You got three large carts there. I, I'm not. I'm not having that. They're small carts. They're definitely large carts, right? And then you got the bridge toll if you want to include that, which is another five silver pieces and right. another it'll be another five silver pieces per cart, and it'll be another two silver pieces per horse. You got six horses. So Seb, is he undercharging us or overcharging us? I can't tell. Oh, mate, he's, he, it's way overcharged, like probably in a dick. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, so what, what you're saying, so it's just kind of... Just doing weird things. Pretend I'm using an abacus, just kind of... Mm. 
Uh, it, it'll, work, it'll work out to 32 silver pieces. So uh, three gold, two silver, all right? Uh, I think you're mistaken there, sir. It's uh, 15 gold. No, I don't. I, I think you're well off there. Well off. Hang on, let me do my math again. Huh. No, it's definitely three gold and two. Got to persuasion then. I do this job day in, day out, sir. Yeah, and you still can't do math. Especially when I'm rolling like that. What's my persuasion? Oh, my God. Plus seven. <laughs> Twenty-two. <laughs> well, maybe maybe I'll... Why, there's six horses and three goats. About six miles. And, uh, using, the, using, using the... I assume you're using the bridge, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, yeah. So if, we, if we're using the bridge, that'll work out another gold piece. I'll do four and two. No, no, no. It's still more than that. No, 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 no. Ten. I think it's, it works out ten. Ten gold pieces. Yeah, that's right. Can you confirm that, Byron? Yeah, yeah, about ten. He doesn't really care. Yeah, ten gold. Ten gold. That, that'll cover <laughs> your, your toll. And that'll cover the bridge toll as well. It's not even close. Who, who here has got that many gold pieces? I freaking haven't. The guys that are... I've got about like 70 left. 70? Yeah, 70. Zero. Because I sold what? my... Why did sold... you get money? Right, right, right. All right, everyone. So I sold my weird necklace we got from that tomb. Yeah, you did. We got some weird jewellery from the tomb <laughs> ages ago that we just barely got out of and we were saving um, Billy's dad from it. No, we were saving some other old man. Yeah. I think you were trying to save treasure. <laughs> yeah, we did. Oh yeah, that's what was in the treasure. Yeah, and there was like a there was like a dust leaf ghost woman. Oh bloody nose. Seems like so long ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was like years ago. Anyway, I sold that. I flogged it. I probably sold it for a lot less than I should have done. But anyway, I got like 70 pieces out of it. No, I still refuse that that's right, and I start I start laying coins out. He's right. So each, each horse is this, and I'm just starting mounting coins up now. Yeah, that's right. One of them's looking, right. and um, the the guy that you've been travelling with, he goes, "I'm sorry to say, we couldn't even afford the four gold pieces." It's fucking useless. <laughs> well, we didn't I mean, make any money really... in Tuscan Vale, did we? We got paid in flowers. Yeah. Paid in fucking flowers, yeah. <gasps> Have we got any of those flowers left? Uh, oh, fucking hell, come on. Yeah, look, got a bucket of them. A bucket of flowers. Interesting. Give me a second. <laughs> Do you mind, see, you're holding up the queue. It's the 10 gold pieces. Come on. Hey, come on, just doing me mask. Hold on. Here, Off them up. Uh, We've given no. you what, what it costs. Yeah, it's fine. So in the bucket, in the bucket with the flowers, I'm going to throw in, I'm going to throw in 50 copper pieces to make the bucket heavy under the flowers. I'm then going to cast minor illusion on the flowers to make it look like a lot of money. Okay. So when I hand them the bucket, if they put their hand in, they will fill coins. But it will look not like the coins that but because I'm casting it in the bucket, it they can it when they take the bucket, the illusion remains. Okay. Deception. <laughs> What's from deception? Man, come on. <sighs> Lucky green, I found you. You were underneath the uh the gaming boards. Come on, Lucky Green. That's pretty good, Lucky Green. 16 on the dice. What's my deception? 7, 23. Very nice, that'll do nicely. Thank you very much. And uh, on you go. Here's your ticket to say that you've uh, you've paid your toll and you're going to uh, Simon Stone. Thank you very much, sir. Much appreciated. See, I told you we're good at maths. We'll get there in the end. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And Such a crook. Such a fucking crook. On you go. And like as you go through this toll gate, the road goes from like a dusty road 
to a nicely well-maintained uh, stone road. Uh, and there are a lot of people like selling food, like squirrel on a stick and um, <laughs> people trying to you sell know, squirrel on a stick. I love yeah. <laughs> people trying to sell um, like all sorts of things. So carpets, uh, rugs, even and any, anything. Right. But there's a few uh, this road sort of splits off as well. And it goes to different locations. And there's, there's quite a lot of people on these roads, but the one that goes to Silent Stone starts to go up quite steeply up these, um, these, these steep hills, it sort of winds around boulders and rocks that are sticking out. I'll let you, you guys, uh, you guys can take the lead on this one. Don't need me to do it. Go on. Yeah, go, Gongo. <laughs> Gongo's meditating. So, this, so did the people at the toll booth not question the fact that we have like a spider with us, or was that kind of just glazed over? They, did, they didn't you, see it. I didn't care. Okay, that's one. They just wanted to get paid. All right. Yeah. Okay, they, cool. they didn't. They didn't see the spider. Mm. Were they? Were they trying to con us? I don't know. I never tried. Never. Never bothered trying to get it to work out. <laughs> mm. It was too. It, it was too much trying to work out to get to a number. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they were trying to con you by like three silver pieces. But was that, that it? That was it. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> Result. <laughs> yeah, because I I thought I thought that I, I quite fancied distort value as a as a spell, but I didn't take it. Mm, I never even heard of that one. Anyone? Yeah, it it can work and it can't work. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, what you've noticed on this trail so far on this road. Um, it, there's a lot more dwarven people than anything else. Mm. Oh, it's a mine. It's a miners' colony, then, is it? Very nice. We're still, we're, we're still heading towards um, Silent Stone, though. Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can I ask one of the little people how far we are from Silent Stone? Uh, yeah. You Oi, mate, down there. How Me? far away? Yeah, you, mate. How right. far away yeah. are we from uh, the silent stone? Well, uh, from here, you about, oh, how long did it take? Well, I don't know. I think you're about three miles, three, four miles. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Three, four miles from here, yeah. Hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. It's not very accurate, but, you know. Yeah, close enough. All yeah, right. and I walk it too often. Where are you from? Uh, we're from two thousand years in the future, uh, but for oh. this reference, but from this reference, we're from uh, Tuscan Vale. Right, right, right. You are. Yeah, yeah. He laughs and walks off. Ah, cool. See you. And <laughs> you walk up. You, uh, sorry, you walk up. You go up these this uh, these these steep roads, and you get to a. Uh, a large bridge which is called the bridge of penance and it is it spans because you're up really high now and a lot of the the air is very like thick and misty and cold and you can feel it on your lungs um and this bridge it is really really long and like fairly narrow um for its length so you can still get two carts side by side on it but it it goes for a, a good four hundred foot. Uh, it spans spans this uh, misty gorge, and you can hear water at the bottom of the gorge, and people shouting. And as you look to the far end, it is like a just a, a cliff face, and then with a wall built on top of this cliff face, big black stone wall. Um, and you can see that. Uh, on top of the wall there's a crane like hoisting some things up logs you can see logs being hoisted up 
to the top. Um, you can see as well that, that there are bodies of traitors hanging from the uh, the battlements at the top, and on the on the bridge itself, uh, you can see that on either side there are little gibbet cages where you put people in and hang them from there. And there's people just in these cages, like swinging around, creaking in the wind. Um, but on the far end is like a portcullis gate. And that goes through into the city. So you're on, on this bridge. Mm. Like punishment here, it seems. Mm. Are we close enough to shout to one of the people in the cages? Yeah. Oi, mate. What are you in for? Looks up. He's like, choice. Yep, choice. Really? Okay. Yep. Yep. Choice. Been praying for a few days. In for choice. Must be in here for bullshitting. Yeah, I was like, what choice? Right, you... so I don't make the bloody same. Yeah. Right. Well, you're no fun. Uh, can I shout to the one next to me? Is there a light one? Yeah, there's another one. And um, what about you, mate? He turns around and his his skin's all falling off. He's got leprosy. And he goes. Mm. He goes. Uh, to pay for my sins. Cool. Oh, have a good day. Thank cool. you. Of course, they're obviously a very uh, religious place, the Silent Stone, it seems. Cool. And that's a very religious. Um... It does, does seem that way, doesn't it? As you get closer to the wall, you can see that there are ravens pecking at the, uh, the bodies of the traitors. But then the ravens. Non believers. Yeah, you notice it. Let's see. Uh... Roll perception. Yep, that's that one. <laughs> Anyone else? Seven. <laughs> perception. 14. Seb notices that all the ravens stop and look at you guys. Okay. Um, yeah, you can talk to animals. Why are they looking at us? Asking Despo. I don't speak animals. <laughs> you can't speak I... It's just, uh, they all seem to be looking at it. Is it because we're alive? They think, mm, yum. I think you're mistaking ravens for vultures. <laughs> I am not. I have, I have read the poem evermore. And it creeps me out every time I bloody read it. They're looking at me weird. Understandable. Yeah, don't like it. Okay, so you, you see that and you go through the portcullis and um, it opens up into a, a huge valley, massive valley with layers of mist like at the top edges either side. Um, yeah. So it's, you can everything is built of from stone here, and like all the houses, they're all like lined up really well. You can you can see that or like there's a lot of stone paving everywhere, and at the far sides of this valley, you can hear um, the clunking of like headstocks, like the spindles on a headstock of of mines, and you can see them all, all these like headstocks which are turning lowering people down into mines 
um, and on the far end of this valley is like a huge Mott and Bailey castle and it overshadows the whole the whole city um, on the right hand side is a large cathedral and then on the left hand side is a wizard's tower Ooh. I have a sneaking suspicion that Wizard's Tower is uh, the university place. Oh, wait, no, my perception is better. I didn't see this. So, oh. oh, no, you guys, you hey, we got see this. this as you enter. Yeah, it was just for the Ravens, the, the perception. Oh, okay. Cool. <coughs> All right. Hmm. Tell you what, the people driving this, uh, these carts, so where are you lads who are heading off to then? Where are you parking up? Because we want to uh, go over there by that university looking place. Um, yeah, we'll go over there. We don't really know where to go here. There, there must be a square somewhere. Hmm. Probably have a little ride through and just see how, see how it goes. Um, see what we can yeah, find. Nice. If you're happy with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got plans to kill. We're in no rush, I don't think. Are we in a rush? Don't think for you. Cool. All right, then. Yeah, we'll just scout around a little bit, see what's around. Uh, you go through like the main drag and there are lots of shops and stuff like everything there's no like thatched roofs or anything like that in this city it's all like slate roofs um you get to like a large area which is a square and then it like branches off and they go around they leave like a couple of wagons in the square and they go over to where this tower is and the tower has a surrounding wall perimeter wall which which comes out from the tower, probably about 100 feet in the circular, uh, in a radius. Um, and you get there, it's just a wall with a locked double door. And it says, um, there is a plaque on the door. It says, um, Wizard, Wizard de Dallas the Silver. Does he nest to go his name? It was the Dallas. Huh. I know it was quite a while ago, but do we remember what the uh, the famous wizard was from back in Dipland? The one they spoke of, um, Malcolm, wasn't it? Was hmm. it Malcolm? Yeah, Malcolm was the old man, wasn't he? Uh, the one that Seb set up. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's beyond our remembrance. All right. No, uh, it's Marcus. All right. Oh, yeah, the elder Marcus. Yeah. Elder Marcus. Yeah. All right. Sorry, I watched Malcolm <laughs> in the Middle yesterday. That's why I'm thinking Malcolm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, the elder, the elder, elder Marcus yeah. and Barbara. Barbara. Barbara, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. All right. Cool. Cool, right? Well, we don't remember that was his name, so that name is of no importance uh, yet. Uh, cool. So what do you want to do while you're in this city? So you stop outside this place and there's like closed doors. <laughs> hmm. Can knock on the door. Uh, I mean, it's as much as Seb's trying to bash the door in. <laughs> you bang on the door. Uh, little, <laughs> sorry, little hat driver and goes, "What do you want?" <laughs> <laughs> Stop banging on the bloody door. What do you want? Is this the Wizard Academy? Academy. University. University is a school. There's no university here. Polytechnic. I got told there is a wizard university at Silent Stone, right? If you tell me that I'm not and we come all here for nothing, right? Then somebody's going to get a finger shoved somewhere. Well, somebody's lying to you then. Fuck There's Barry. no university here. Fuck Barry. Well, we were told by uh, Wizard Barry in Gold Ridge that there was, unless this is like a secret code we need to say to get in, which he didn't tell us. Uh, abracadabra. 
<laughs> Open Sesame? What do you, I mean, look, right, who are you, right, and uh, excuse me for be, being a little bit um, shaken, we've just been told that the reason we've come here ain't here, so what do you know of a wizard named Barry? I know of many wizards, they, they... I didn't ask if you do lots of wizards, a wizard named Barry. Well, look, I just work here, I just man the gate, for God's sake. Well, it's take very us to nice. manager. You must know a wizard named Barry. I, it's got to be some sort of wizard registry. Just somebody called ba a wizard Barry. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, bloody Barry. What about a wizard named Jeremy? <laughs> oh, no, Jeremy, yes. You Jeremy. know Jeremy, but you don't know Barry. Jeremy comes here often from uh, Osrin, just over, over the way there. Next, next town along. Is that next town along, right, further in, or have I got to go back out of that front gate and pay him more money? Front gate's the only way. Oh, bastard. <laughs> In that Thank case, you. we better set up so we can make some money while we're here. Huh. Listen, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not an information point. What, what do you want? I want to find the wizard universe. <laughs> <laughs> it's why I bloody come here. Well, I don't why know of any wizard. Here? I don't know of any wizard university. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I cannot help you. But maybe I'm not the one in the know. Who's the wizard of the town then? Go on, you got to know that one. No, he lives here. Awesome. What's his name? His name's on the play. Great. Can't read. What's his name? You can't <laughs> read. <laughs> That'd be so ridiculous. Surely you can read. Uh, Simon. His name's Simon. No, it's bloody not. He wouldn't have a name like that. His name is Wizard Dedalus the Silver. Ah, oh, see, I got the S right. Who? <laughs> now, if you don't mind, and he secretly closes the shutter. Oh, what an arsehole. Don't like you. Don't like you. We're not going to be friends. Wizard the Dallas, charming. Dallas to, 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 to Silver. That's a proper wizard's man. I like Barry and Jeremy. This, um, this tower is like a square tower. It's not like what you think in typical wizard's cylindrical tower with a cone on top. Um, cylindrical. It's uh, it's just like a square, sharp edges, like um, like a bastion on a castle, but square. And so that's his home. Well, well, uh, what sort of time of day is it, Mr. Dear? Um, it is afternoon. And he's not letting me in, bastard. <laughs> what? Be a bit night time. I would have let him up. It's not. Can I speak to your master, please? It's got to be sometimes more polite than you are. Do you have an appointment? Yes, I do. Well, where is it then? Where's your appointment card? My appointment card? I've got nothing in the book for you. Yes, I'm sure. If you if you look down there, right, you will find a name. <laughs> so just, mm, pick a name, pick a name, pick a name, pick a name. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Pierce for two o'clock. Taking a chance, proper taking a chance. <laughs> Look, there he is. All right. Yes, um, Mr. Mr. Pierce. Uh, you are early. Yeah, sorry. These are your that. friends, are they? Yeah. Um. <laughs> they help carry me bags. Right. Well, I'll just see if he's ready for you. Cool. Thank you. Gamble. <laughs> <laughs> he comes back and says yes you may go up and he's like you hear unbolting of the doors and um he opens them up to a lovely courtyard oh lovely um he will be at the top he, he it's 
he will not greet you. Just go to the top. There we go. Find him there. Oh, thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you. Yes. Oh, can the spider come with us too? What? He'll oh, no. wipe his feet. Don't worry. <laughs> um, is it safe? Yes. Very friendly. He's lovely and friendly. Yeah, he's lovely and friendly. He is. Yeah, that um, draw means he likes you. Uh, I feel the spider should stay here. Yes, it it'll be safe in our courtyard. Nothing will 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 get in unless it climbs over the, the wall. I th- I th- I, th- I say we leave Gongo and Bogey down there with it as well. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Yes, feel free to uh, explore. Enjoy yourself while you're down here. Now, Bogey, um, don't steal or shit in things. What? <laughs> Uh, promise. Oh, thank you. All right. Let us head up there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling Mr. Mr. Pierce. Thank you. All right. Let's get going. Go on. Step, 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 step. You go, you go in, get to the top, and um, there's a door. Hmm. Perhaps I, Mr. Mr. Pierce, shall twist the door handle and see if it opens. Uh, yeah, it opens. And yes. Inside, there's just like books everywhere. Um, there's nice uh, fireplace. Nice fire going. There's rugs and there's all sorts of like mystical items all over the walls. Um, there's a, a chair near a window and this wizard is is sitting in this chair reading a book and as you walk in he like closes the book and uh, he goes ah mr mr pierce pleasure and he is uh, he is wearing like black vel- a black velvet tunic with a uh, high like sort of high knee boots and he wears a black hat with a feather in it. Um, let's have a look here. Yeah, a uh, bicocket hat. Do you know what that is? No. No? <laughs> it's like a Robin Hood hat, which is oh, black. Oh, yeah. It's like black velvet. And uh, he has like a utility strap with some little books in it little mini books travel books oh no okay and he shakes and he goes ah mr mr pierce what can i do for you it's a pleasure to meet you finally and your friends would you like to come in too uh thank you very much your illustrious miss yes make yourself at home brandy oh um, no 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 one for the drink but the home bits or big chair just feet up on the side Yes, oh. I clean will get that. <laughs> so what, 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 what was the urgency, Mr. Pierce? Good question. Yeah, you're, I... on, you're on your own now, mate. I got, I got us in. <laughs> <All right. clears throat> I'm here to ask about some crystals. Yes. That. He looks at you strangely. Like he, he looks at you um, like with slight fear. He goes to the door and he makes sure it's closed. He says, how did you find out about crystals? What type of crystals? Ah, well, I found these <laughs> and they allowed me to travel back in time. I am from 2000 years in the future. And using the crystals, somehow, don't ask me how, I came back in time. So I would like to know more about how these work. Hmm. I see. Would you be able to prove this? 
<laughs> it's, 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 straight away, I was just sitting there. Again, with the proving. How do you prove that you travel back in time? I'm just asking. I'm here to help, not to... I can tell you lots of things that haven't happened yet, but then you wouldn't know because they haven't happened yet. You must have something. That's the point. Well, in 2,000 years, you are dead. That is true, yes. <laughs> That is true. But I fail to see the point. <laughs> These lands will be taken over and it will be called Dicklandia. Dicklandia yes. still exists today. It's north of these lands. Oh, but I bet it doesn't look like it does when it was 2,000 years ago. How did we get moved? Ah, uh, yes. What? In 2,000 years, uh, Dicklandia will be uh, utilizing crystals to yeah, protect the town. Despot, do you is... do you have a, a, a date of production on you somewhere? Let me bend you over and show you made in Taiwan. <laughs> I haven't I haven't seen it, but maybe you might find a, find something. What are the chances of that happening? You know, just Despot having a, a print on him. Oh, uh... forged. You want me to make a perception check? Roll me a D100. Made in Taiwan. Despot roll me a D100. <laughs> I have to do it, okay. Do you prove that you're from 2,000 years in the future? Other than the fact we're walking around with a brand new... Ooh, tea. Ooh. Mm. You haven't got anything on you. Damn it. Um... Yeah, you haven't got anything. I'm in. I'm interested. Tell me more about about this future, about this Dick Dicklandia. What are you? You're from Dicklandia, yes? Yes. <laughs> yes. And I, I'll leave Mister Pierce back to it. I'm just going to go back and put my up again. <sighs> you bastard! Please continue. Uh well. I have a son in the future, uh, and my favorite hobby with him is leaving him. Um, <laughs> that sounds so great. So strange. Yeah. Uh, yes, what fun I, that was. Uh, was. But yeah, you were saying something about the crystals powering something. Yeah, you were. You were. You were definitely on the right track with that. All right. Cool. Thank you. Uh, right, yes, yeah, so they were used to uh, protect the city. Uh, a force field was created to uh, prevent uh, spooky beings coming in and attacking the townsfolk. Hmm. And what of the other towns, cities, and villages? That I don't know. I think they all got destroyed. Yes, right, Despot? I mean, I believe they all version to one one town mm. why would they do that yes because dick glandia was very large miles in radius you could hardly see the whole town even when standing on the big middle spire this is uh i mean dick dickland is <laughs> is one of our our main cities and there has been some tension between um, Silent Stone and Dickland in recent years. But these crystals, what do they look like? They are very clear, sharp, spiky things. Um, like big diamonds they are, they is. He pulls something out of a satchel and he goes, did they look like this? And they're exactly the crystals. Oh, yes. Those are the ones I powered my time machine with. Mm. Yes. Mm. He puts them away. He says it's it's concerning that you you have this this knowledge of of the crystals and the fact that they even exist. This is a well kept secret amongst amongst the wizards. Well, you didn't keep the secret well enough, did you? Two thousand years in the future. Seems like one of you loosened their gums. Hmm. Yes. This is confusing. 
<laughs> Tell me about it. Let's have a cup of tea. <laughs> sure, thank you. Yeah. Inside um, check on the cup of tea. Yeah, gonna get poisoned. <laughs> I don't drink, so I'm good. Okay. Make a cup of tea. Uh, you can do an investigation of it. Uh, don't trust. Oh, I don't trust wizards. Ooh. 19 was for investigation. 22. Mm. You have a sniff and you can smell it's got some toxicity to it. Uh, ah, and sorry, sorry, uh, Sir Silver. Would you mind swapping cups with me? Um, I'm left-handed, you see, and this is a right-handed bug. Uh, <laughs> well, it's rather ridiculous. Maybe we we could uh, have a scone instead. <laughs> no, no, no. I, come on, you took all the time to make the tea. You must enjoy it. Please yes. enjoy the tea. Yeah, he goes, oh, fine, a strange request. Waves his hand over the tea in the room. Trust no one. Trust nothing. He says, um, so you, what you're telling me about the future is that Diglandia is the superpower in the region, yes? Yes. And all of the other holds and towns all come under Diglandia. Yes? Yes. Mm. Agreed. Right. Well, we must go to war then. Hmm. Right. What? Wait a minute. Uh, hmm. <laughs> well, this is you now. That seems a tad extreme, doesn't it? Well, Mr. Silver, as one mister to another, I must say that if I understand my uh, theoretical uh, time travel physics correctly, uh, you going to war would be what you were expected to do. Hence, you going to war will cause you uh, to be uh, extinct. Is it not? If that's mm. your first reaction, that causes your extinction. So perhaps you shouldn't war. So we shouldn't, we, we shouldn't war. No. I believe that you're from the future and I'm interested as to why the crystals are in, in, in such like ready availability to the, the city of Dickland. Where did you find your crystal? I don't think I should tell you that. Oh, come on. This is definitely a game of we show you ours, you show us yours. Hmm. We created the crystals as um, an experiment. We, all of the wizards in the realm, we, we decided we would combine our powers and create the ultimate, um, ultimate material to power our, uh, our, our land, uh, all of our, our hopes and dreams. And, and we managed to, create a, a limitless power and it is these crystals now we only have a handful between each wizard and we are experimenting in ways uh, to see how we can improve our societies but i feel they may be used for for war by some of the wizards who do you have suspicion of? Well, there is there is a wizard who, who resides in the northern desert. Um, I don't know his name. He is so far from this location, but he, he came to to summon the crystals along with every every other wizard. Um, but he, he was strange. He was quite argumentative and he wanted to keep the majority of the horde in his region. But everybody disagreed and we decided to keep the horde in Diklandia. Now I have this, this compass here, which 
points to the horde. Now, if that horde ever moves, I will know from this location that it has moved and been stolen. So every wizard will be able to home in on the horde and protect it. Maybe that horde will be because we know what those crystals can do. And at that time of reaping, they're running out of power. So they ain't limitless. Running out. They last for thousands of years. Hmm. Not limitless, then. No. Well, I can show you, I can demonstrate the power of these crystals if you'd like. We have uh, newly erected an arena. And I think you'll be quite impressed with, with what I've managed to create. Hmm. Sounds like trying to kill us. I am interested. He's interested. Hmm. Yes, lead the way. Right, Seb? Shall he lead the way? Yes, sounds good. Cool. Onward to our death. You go, <laughs> you go down and um, he sees a spider and he goes, what? What is that thing doing here? Oh, oh Logan. Oh, that's, that's well, Logan, my buddy. Logan's stuck, is it? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. It's your buddy. Um, he like does a hand gesture and Logan's really calm and the rune on his on his uh, fang glows and he's like going like as if he's reading something that you can't see anything apart from this glowing rune and um he he stands up and he goes hey, did you steal this no we rescued it we rescued it Yes. It's, it's property. It's not to be rescued. This is part of the experiments we've been doing. Uh, wizard Jeremy. Jeremy. Mm. That stupid idiot. Are we having words? He was experimenting you? on nature. So oh. we saved Logan from Jeremy. Well, you'll find my experiments aren't much different, unfortunately. Right, and what are these experiments? I'll show you. Bring the beast. I am <laughs> regrettingly going to go see what he means and show bring Logan. All right. So you go out of you go out the front gate. And are Gongo and Bogey going with you? Yes. Okay, so you're all together. And you walk through the streets. People like just park in front of this wizard to let him through. You go around to a newly, you can tell it's like newly built. The stone is like fresh, um, freshly cut. And you go in, like these, these guards open these big doors and let you in. And it's big. It's, uh, we'll finish this. Um, there's this big arena, right? And there's all this seating, stone seating. And he takes you down these steps and into like the, the underbelly of this construction. And inside is a really, really big, shiny Gorgon. Oh, that same Gorgon that me and Seb done. I don't imagine it being the same one because that was rusty and beat the shit. And this one's really shiny, like chrome almost. He goes, Look at this. What a beast. Stand back, though. It does, it lets off some gas from its nostrils. It's an unexpected side effect. Um, it was just a simple bull from the farm. I used can crystals we... and. Oh my God. Yeah, can we see if there's like a little rune carving in there, uh, like the older. Uh... 
The other one had. Well, I didn't see it, but is it is it a male? Does it have two huge testicles? Yeah. Right. So, yes. so that, that 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 takes away. So yes, high chance it could be the same one that we took. Yeah. What do they smell like? Just much more <laughs> younger. <laughs> Did you just say it? Did they smell the same? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. No. Seb would know that. <laughs> what do they smell like? So, so by Sam. There was yeah, there, there was a rune under there. I saw, I saw the rune. You do an investigation. No, we took the rune. No, yeah, but after you killed it. it. But I saw that I when the rune went over my head when I was under these testicles. Oh, 17. You can see a rune. But I can't same see place. the same rune. It's in the same well, no, what you now when you're underneath you saw a wound the rune was on some of the armor that was scavenged we we took it and you took it so one you... of us is holding it so one of you's got it you mean this one yeah that'll do <laughs> <laughs> yeah that one he goes he looks at it, he goes mm. he like there's a thing he's like starts reading he goes you are from the future Hey, proof finally, and uh, that's where we we'll leave it. Uh, cool. Yeah.